Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it loud and clear. Just don't be working out. And, and, and I want to tell you right now, this is what you get when you get athletes speaking on their own performances. This is what you get. And I love Micah Parsons, bro. And, and like, he's a great player. I love it. I, I, lo I mean, I, I'm all in for athletes having their own podcast and stuff. But this is what you get. This is what you get. You get emotionally attached to the culture, the coaching staff, the management, the players. Like, you're emotionally attached. So you can't really observe what is really, really going on because sometimes you can't see how big the crowd is when you stand in front row at that stage. You can't see everybody behind you. And that's sometimes what's going on because you're locked in, you're going to practices and all of that, but you, it's hard to see that fans and analysts' perspective of what's really happening with this team, bro, because, yeah, I get, you know, you feel like y'all a good football team, and I personally feel like the Cowboys are a talented football team, but you're not a good football team altogether. You're talented individuals, and that culture with the Dallas Cowboys absolutely stinks. It stinks. It reeks of, of garbage. Because, man, no reason, it's no reason that much talent on the team should be this bad. And I really think it's a it's a, a leadership problem. The Cowboys are the only professional sports team in America that haven't won a home game in 2024. Awful. Awful. That's not a good football team. That tells me, regardless of how many dynamic athletes you have on the team, the leadership is just really not sending the message where it's clicking to everybody to light a fire to actually win a game. You've had multiple chances to win a home game. You still haven't done it. You're still losing games. Five game losing streak. Your own starting quarterback even said it on the sideline. Yeah, we suck, bro. You seen him mouth it on a sideline where he said it in the middle of a game. And for me, when I'm watching the Cowboys, I just see a lack of effort out there. It's not even like, oh, okay. They're making a bunch of mistakes, which they are, but I just see a lack of effort. And to me, when, when guys are out there and they're chilling, they're, they're just playing for themselves. You got this guy working hard. You got that guy slacking a little bit. To me, it's, an, it's a culture thing. The head coach, I think it starts from there. Actually, no, 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 let's even go higher. I think it starts all the way up there with Jerry Jones. And that man not giving a damn about what this team is doing outside of the popularity and the financial aspect of what this team is doing. And that is just trickling down from from GM front office again Jerry Jones to head coach to to position coaches and now you're looking at the players on the field sideways and those guys are the ones that's really taking the blame for it but ultimately yeah they are they're talented individuals but as a football team oh you guys reek you guys reek and it doesn't take a genius to realize that. But I think when you're so invested and you're watching and you're doing everything, you're on, you're going to practice, you're working hard, you're cool with the coaches, you're cool with the, with the other players and all of that, and y'all all talented individuals, it's hard to really see that awful performance of what you're doing out there and how it looks on the field. Yeah, you go back and watch film. So I know you, you can identify some of these errors, but as a collective it looks awful. And that's why people say, oh, no, this is an awful football team. They're not good. So, hey, Cowboys, I I I'm sorry, bro. That's not a good football team. Michael Parsons, all love to him, man, doing his thing. He's been balling. He he's been facing some injuries and stuff. But all respect. But, nah, bro, that's not a good football team. I will push back on that 10 times out of 10. I think it's talented individuals there. Not a good football team, though. As a, it takes more than seven people, 11 people to be a good football team. It takes more than 22 people to be a good football team. It takes more than 40 people to be a good football team. And the Dallas Cowboys, not a good football team. Can't I can't I can't let that one slot. Can't let that slot. So I had to go ahead and hold him accountable. All right, look, man. So look, leave us a quick take. If you heard something you agree with, you disagree with, you like or you dislike, go ahead, shoot us a quick take on our voicemail line. We got some news coming up, but the voicemail line number is 219-413-9405.